No. No, Buzz. It just bees book club. I remember Seminole, uh, McGray and the Headless Corpse. It's a, it's a good one. It's a problem. I think I might be reading a lot more Seminole soon. Uh, this is like a, I think it says in the intro that the, he wrote something like 75 novels between 75, uh, Seminole wrote like 75, uh, let's see. Uh, between 1931 and 1972, so just, you know, 41 years, he published 75 novels and 28 short stories featuring Inspector Maigret. Um, I've been recommended Maigret a number of times. I've never been a huge mystery person, but sometimes I am. And I think this might be a problem. I have already pulled aside the first and final Maigre novels. I'm uh, reading them very soon. Um, I really don't have anything like intelligent to say about this book other than like it's uh, you know the mood setting is really good. Um, I when reading it, I based on my love of Andrea Camilleri. I was like, oh, this sounds, this seems like it might be like a sort of later Simonon. And based on like the, the like vague things I've heard about the Maigret novels, I was like, this seems like it's probably like a later, like a, I mean, this is like a late 60s probably in, in terms of like it being written from the 30s, the early 30s to the early 70s. Um, it is like a mid 50s novel, like, like, like dead center almost, which is wild. Um, tells a story of some brothers who go to like leave port and then they're dragging against the ground their boat is dragging against the ground they pull up what was dragging it's an arm they find the rest of the corpse except for the head meanwhile inspector mcgray is like goes to a cafe or to a bistro randomly to make a call and then it's like i think the dead guy is the owner of this cafe and his wife did it um and there are basically no twists and turns. Um, there is basically just like long passages of speculation about like why she would have done it if she did, who she's sleeping with, what's going on, and like, and the sort of the thing unfolds from there. But like, it doesn't read like detective fiction in the way that I tend to think about detective fiction. It reads like, um, detective fiction in a way I don't tend to think about detective fiction, which is why I'm going to read at least a handful more of these. Um, it's cool. Uh, if Camilleri's whole thing is like having, having a real weird mystery that maybe or maybe doesn't intersect with like um, the history of Italian fascism, um, but mostly is interested in uh, the moment he gets to go over to... Oh my god, I've forgotten the name of the Trattoria. Oh no, <laughs> it's been too long. I need to read some more Camilleri. That's, I think that's part of it also. Um, uh, it's not front... front it's, mm, damn, I cannot remember the name of, of, the, of the restaurant's proprietor um in the camillary books um uh, point being if if camillary and and inspector montalbano are about like here's a big mystery that was punctuated by moments of of montalbano eating some of the best food you ever like read a description of uh <laughs> Meg Ray is a uh, at least from this book a description of like uh, very straightforward but psychologically difficult mystery. By straightforward, I mean who the suspects tend, who are, and what their relationship to the crime was. By psychologically motivated or like difficult or complicated, I mean um, you don't know why, and McGray doesn't know why, and more than that, he doesn't understand the people involved and so this is maybe this is a maybe this is a, a consequence of it being like sort of in the middle of, of of the series but like 
the punctuation is drinks and not food, is all I was trying to say there. Negre loves to get himself a little glass of wine. Uh, <laughs> at one point he gets drunk in the middle of it. I was like, oh, that's fun. Um, sort of near the end of it, I guess. Um, but yeah. I don't know. What do you say about a mystery? Other than that it makes you want to more read more mysteries by that writer. A lot of things, potentially. But that's how I fell on this one. Thanks for not watching.